Everybody, and welcome back to Falcon Place Rimworld. And uh, I'll st start off this episode, I just want to throw it out there. Uh, apologies if my voice sound a little bit weird today. I woke up with a little slight bit of a cold. Not really a cold, but I went to sleep yesterday with my window open just because my mastic is like to freeze overnight, apparently. It's like a two-pronged thing, right? I like I love sleeping when it's really cold because you could always just cover up with like extra blankets and like, you know, feel really nice and comfortable while it's cold outside, but your little cocoon is completely warm and everything's fine. However, on the flip side, I woke up with, you know, my throat just being all jacked up. So I apologize if I do sound a little bit weird today. Let me uh, get a grasp of what's going on here before we actually go ahead and start playing here. And we do have a bit of a Raider Assault waiting up over here. Of course, why not, right? Why would past Falcon give a shit about future Falcon? Now future Falcon, which happens to be present Falcon, has to deal with this raid. And I realize there's no door. Here, is there a door? I don't think I even built the door, did I? I don't think there is. That... Does not seem like there's a door right there. Or there is a door, but it's not closed because there's probably something in the way. So, Shook, if you... Why What? The, why is... Oh, there's a pistol right there. Alrighty, Shook, here, do me a favor. Let me have you equip this laser pistol momentarily. If anything, just to get this door to close. Okay, now let me run. have you run off. Alright, the door did close now. Uh, Shook, you run off now for a second. I, I know you don't probably like the pistol that much, but you're going to have to deal with it for a while, uh, Shook. Alrighty, so... Raiders are outside. We, apparently we did leave off with uh, Blast Charges, so I was really worried about this raid that I set up Blast Charges for myself, which is uh, quite impressive. I didn't think I was going to be using Blast Charges, but we have been losing a lot of people recently, and I'm not too crazy about that. You guys aren't too crazy about it, too. I've heard a lot of complaints like, Falcon, you're putting the people out to, like, you know, pasture, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, you're right, but I've been trying to keep us alive. Here's the thing you got to realize. We are rocking the uh, Project the Armory mod, which gives the Raiders their own uh, set of individual tools and skills to kind of ruin our lives. So that is part of the reason why they have been jacking us up. I could probably reorganize my setup a bit, and I probably should before we even even get this uh, raid underway here. One of the things I really wanted to do was... Oh, I can't even put that there because of that. Ah, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is a pickle indeed. How about we put another sandbag right here then? And, um, we could also... This this setup here is what's worrisome to me. This over here gets a lot of people killed just because it's up front and personal. How many turrets do we have? We have quite a bit of turrets just set up everywhere, don't, don't we? Maybe it's probably in my best interest to move this one a bit more forward, right? I'll probably do that after this raid, because I don't think we have enough time for it right now to actually disassemble it and move that. So let me just get this going. I'll have this get built. Um, you'll, also, uh, you'll also forgive me if uh, we are losing a bit of frames here. However, there is a lot happening on screen at the moment, and at this point of the base, considering the game isn't completely refined just yet, um, you know, just running with a single core as opposed to using all your multi-cores in your computer, even though I don't have the greatest computer. Oh, uh, there we go. Now we're back up to regular pace there. Um, even though I do have multi-cores, the game only uses one core at the moment, and uh, to my knowledge, it has not been... Um, the developer has said that it's going to be a while before he actually works it into, like, you know, using multi-cores because it's going to require a bit marks to work. And he's trying to focus on the features of the game, which is fine. I mean, the game's going to run fine enough unless you're kind of, like, pushing it like I am over here. Uh, one of the things that I also want to do this episode is actually start getting rid of all these weapons. How are we going to do that? Well, um, smelting them is an option indeed. However, I feel that um, it takes quite a bit of while exactly for... Uh, us to go through all these weapons. So I'm gonna actually start uh, blowing some of them up just because I don't think we need that many here and to be quite honest with you. And considering that after one raider, again okay, the, the raiders have finished staging their assault right there. Considering that the raiders tend to uh, come at you really strong either way, um, I see no point in having to um, have all these weapons because after one single raid you're gonna have all this shit filled up with weapons anyway. So alright the raiders are coming at us. Um, I haven't set up my people yet for defense. I'm going to do that now. Now, you're probably going to be angry. You're going to be like, Falcon, you waited too long again. And you're probably right. However, I am a little bit more, I guess, um, no, don't highlight the bets. Let's highlight Loki here. All right, let's not highlight Loki because Loki doesn't want to work with us right now. Let's highlight Guinea and get everybody up here. Now, the reason why I haven't set people up just yet is because, number one, uh, past Falcon kind of screwed me up a bit here and I didn't, wasn't aware of how many... How much time we had before this raid came down, for one. Harriet, let me have to wake your ass up right now. I know it's not really ceremonious to wake you up this way, Harry, but we do have a raid about to come down over here, and we do, in fact, need ourselves to get ready for this. Uh, and he's not going to be able to do it because I already have a few people highlighted, so let me just do the group highlight. Send these people roughly about over here, I would say. And who's down over here sleeping? Anderson Pena! 
Anderson Pena, you are not going to get out of this raid, right? You need to come over here and help us out as well. So just go over there for now. Okay, let's put this in real time. And Jackie Boy, the Marine, with no weapon and not exactly the greatest health imaginable. So I am a little bit worried about that, but hopefully uh, <laughs> it doesn't come back and bite me in the ass. Uh, I guess it will if he dies and then, you know, have Jackie mad at me as well. A lot of people have been getting mad at me recently, and, you know, I understand the, the frustrations, believe me, but at the same time, uh, I'm trying to do the best I can here. So, Guinea the Surgeon, good shot from my dear member. He is the uh, diabolical, diabolical surgeon, indeed. I think one of the viewers referred to him as the surgeon from uh, the Human Centipede movies, which could probably be a good uh, comparison to it. Honestly, I haven't seen the Human Centipede yet, so I can't really uh, make my call on that one. Why I haven't seen it? Well, not really particularly the reason why. Like, I've always heard that it's a fucked up movie. I've just never felt like the, I guess, strong urge to actually really watch it. Speaking of which, my batteries are low on power. Is that because we lost a lot of power last time from the... I think it's because the power conduit blew up, right? So we've lost a lot of power there. So hopefully my weapons are up and running for this fight. If not, it's going to make it even more difficult. So Chef is over there running off to do something. Uh, Paul the Miner. Not a great shot from Ember, so let me have you score right there. Batman, not a good shot too. He was injured recently, so he doesn't have a good weapon on him either. So let me get you a laser gun for now, because it's nearby. I would, I'll would, i leave you back here with Jackie Boy, just because, uh, you know, it's a pretty rough situation we're in here. And again, my guys are not going to be set up for this fight at all, so it's going to be a little bit scary, but hopefully we could actually pull through Edward tonight. Let me, uh, you're a good shot, so let me see if I can hook you up back over here really quickly. This uh, turret has not turned on just yet, which is kind of worrying me a bit. Um, you know, for now, just to, for the sake of power, let me turn off the standing lamps that are available to us to be turned off now. Alrighty, and there is a radar at the door, and there is a blast charge right there, so believe me, that blast charge will go off, because I set it up there for a reason, so I might as well use it, right? Let me set you up right here. Edward is running off to try to get in the spot over there. Swaggiest individual is a decent shot, so let me have you go roughly there. Nathan, the technician, let me have you go there. Him, too, is a good shot as well. The commissar, let me see if he can have you set up in time. Alrighty. There's a few people approaching. That's fine. That is fine. Believe me, those blast charges up front are going to cause, like, mayhem on all these guys anyway. So, we do have that safety net for once. Loki, Loki, let me have you just move through there. Funkmeister, let me have you go right about through there. Herb, set up right there. See, Jay. Jay's a good shot. I don't think I have enough time to actually get Jay. Oh, oh, oh no, I don't have enough time at all. Uh, let me start setting this blast charge off now, though, or else uh, we'll have no time at all because we'll die. Uh, I'm not a quack. Uh, I'm not a people person to quack. <laughs> I'm not a quack. That'd be a great name for a fucking punk band, if you ask me. Alrighty, so now they're inside. Um, hopefully that goes off. Alright, so that, that went off and killed a few people. And now let's set this one off and hope for the best here. Alrighty, guys, you need to start setting up in the spots here. Uh, for now, I'm going to say, uh, you go there. Steven, you go outside. Rose, you. Uh, fuck, set up here if you can. Okay, that got a lot of them, though. So, let's see, bro kick, where are you going? Bro kick, bro kick, bro kick, let me set you up there. And Shook, you know what? I don't think there's enough time to set anybody else up. Actually, maybe. Right about there could work out for us. <clears throat> okay. Come on, come on, come on, Raid! What do we have here? What? Not, not, it's no time for an eclipse right now, uh, God. Okay. So, right now, what we're trying to do is, um, hopefully, no, um, no deaths. <laughs> no knockouts. You guys just stay over here for now. In fact, oh, BFD, I'm sorry, you won't be able to get into this one. And Batman is still, like, praying over here at the weapon cache, and Batman, I, I don't need you there for now. I need you somewhere over here helping us out. I don't think there's, I can't even highlight you to do anything. Jackie Boy isn't even doing anything right now. He's just kind of chilling. Uh, Batman, let me see if I could just have you hook up, like, back through there, and hopefully... I don't think... Okay, Raiders are fleeing. Oh, God. We still got a knockout? How? We, we disintegrated these guys, and we still got a knockout. You know, he's not dead, though, right? Swag, are you alright? Yeah, Swag is barely okay. So let me actually have, uh, have a, have funky safe swag. Alrighty, uh, you know what? No casualties. I will definitely take this as a, uh, victory in our card. And again, it's gonna give me time to actually move this, uh, bunker to a different spot, which is what we definitely need to do now. So, now that's done with, let me unmilitarize these guys. 
And as soon as people are not moving around through here, I'll militarize this group. And then Daniel, if you could please move out of the way. If you could guys please move out of the way here. I said, move out of the fucking way. Alright, you know what, let me just... I'll militarize these guys, because they're, they're not going anywhere. Uh, Key, you move out of the way as well. Let me get these guys here. Shook right there. Good to go. Mark Capone, thank you for your work. You move away. Mangina, move off. Alrighty. Everybody no longer militarized, right? Everybody's good, I think. Um, For the exception of... No, everybody seems to be good. Colony's rescue, yeah. Well, Swag is... uh, Well, he, he was there, but he's not there anymore. He's being taken to bed. Put in a rest. Not not like the, the deep sleep eternal rest. Uh, we've had enough of those as it is already. But um, just a momentary rest so he can kind of get his uh, groove back together. Kind of like Stella. She got her groove back all the time. Um, let's see. Let's highlight. Oh, god damn it. Now, here's the thing that pisses me off is when you can't highlight everything because my guys are over here fixing stuff. Which is fine. I mean, I want you guys to fix stuff but at the same time. You're kind of in the way here. I had the bolt. And let me see if I could get this set up as well. All right. Let me pause this. God damn it. Guys, I need you to just move out of the way a bit. I know you're trying to take the initiative over here and fix stuff, but at the moment, I also have some hauling to do. And it won't get done when you guys are in the way here. Okay, well, that's fine. Cool. Who cares about bodies, right? And they're going to be complaining to me in a while, like, Falcon, why are there so many? Well, not you guys, but your, your avatar versions, who seem to be, like, the most uh, prissy individuals of all time. What do we have here now? A local squirrel. Okay, you bring that fucking squirrel over here, and let's see if that squirrel really wants to deal with us right now. You don't want to test me right now. I'm an angry falcon. Well, I'm not really angry, but... Rose, can you... Oh, I guess Rose is going to be here. Shoot the squirrel instead. That's fine, Rose. Whatever you have to do. Rose, don't shoot the squirrel and then walk off. What is the problem with you? Just just finish the goddamn squirrel off. That's the least you can do. And by finish the squirrel off, I don't necessarily mean, like, you know, a happy ending massage where he's going to be like, Okay, well, you ready to go, sir? And, like, you know, you kind of uh, give him the old one, two, one, two, and then, you know, relieve him of his duty. Rose, you could uh, move out of the way. And I did say duty, and... It does kind of make me laugh a bit because I'm immature that way. Alrighty, good. So that was a decent rate. Uh, sure, we got one person knocked out, but, you know, considering what could have happened, not too bad, right? Now, the blast charges, am I going to start using them more now? I uh, Maybe. Only in tough situations, I guess. Alrighty. Now, what I wanted to do was get rid of some of these weapons. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to start off with the weapons that are set up over here with this little... uh. Massacre that just happened, right? So how about we go into zones and do a stockpile area? Uh, right about through here. Make this shit nothing but, uh, weapons, essentially. Turn this all this off. We'll put this weapons. We'll put this as important for now. Okay, so have them drag weapons there. Bodies will be going to the same spot still. I'm still really upset that we lost the bodies of a few of our colonists there. I'm not sure how or why, but it did happen. Now, the other thing that we're going to be focusing on, honestly, is going to be uh, target practice. A lot of our guys have a lot of threes and fours, and sure, they've actually, some of them actually gone up from uh, threes to like maybe fives and stuff, which is good. But we could definitely start now that we have some free time because we've uh, accomplished most of the things we got to do. Sure, there's still areas to mine out, which we will. And sure, there is other things to do, which we will. But in the meantime, this isn't really too crucial at this point, since we do have the rooms that we need and everything like that. Let me turn these lights back on before these guys complain about, Oh, it's too dark, Falcon. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. So I'm going to turn these on for them. Oh, let's see. I was also told that my corridors were a little bit dark. Is that true? I guess there's I could use a few lights here and there. But, I mean, we are kind of lit up for the most part. Or not lit up, like, you know... You know, we're intoxicated or something like that, or under the influence of something. Because I don't think my guys are. I mean, sure, they could probably... Who needs... Oh, Funky. My bad, Funky. Here, I know you save swag. Uh, you can run off and do stuff now. Thanks a lot for your help, Funky. Uh, building's disconnected. What is disconnected? The door... Oh, well, yeah, it's going to be disconnected because I set off some blast charges there. But I do believe that door should close even without that. Look at all the weapons we just got from this raid alone. See, this is what I'm saying right here. We get way too many weapons that we even fucking have anything to do with. We have enough weapons to, like, you know, militarize a small army, quite honestly. That's, I guess, what we are in reality, though. So now, let me turn off the turrets completely. Have some power start storing up over here, because uh, we could definitely use some power indeed. Uh, let's see, do we need any more uh, energy supply? I don't think we do. I think we just need to give this battery a bit of time to actually, uh, you know, fill up. Uh, yeah, see, it's storing now, and there's an eclipse, too, so you gotta realize that the uh, local boomerang's gone bad now. So everybody's just going piss crazy right now. I had a bolt. Can you actually deal with this boomerang just because, uh, otherwise it's gonna be over here causing a ruckus. Now, 
as you can see, look, we filled up this whole area with weapons and there's still plenty of weapons to pick up. That's what I was talking about, the fact that we have so many weapons. So blast charges are going to start disintegrating the fuck out of these weapons, to be quite honest with you. Um, I suppose we could put this one here, maybe. Another one there. And another one. Right about there, I'd imagine. Just to give us that extra effect. Ida Bolt, how you doing over here? You okay? Zesty, don't don't shoot. You can just you're just gonna hit Ida Bolt. And now Ida Bolt's gonna be on fire a bit too, but that's fine. He he'll be able to deal with it, I hope. Ida Bolt, take it like a man. Just burn baby burn, okay? And speaking of burn baby burn, we have to burn some of those bodies as well. So Ida Bolt, how about since you already militarized, how about we just hook you up with this Molotov cocktail over here? What do we have now? Local boom rats gone mad, okay. It's a uh, night of the living boom rats apparently over here, and just every boom rat just has an issue with us now. Boom rat, get out of my dumping base as well. Okay, what's your problem? Alrighty, Ida Bolt. Um, how are these bodies going? We have like one more to be put away. Funky, can you? Duh. Funky, just deal with this boom rat, please. She's gonna be an hassle for us otherwise. Alright, we have one more body to take care of now, and Ida Bolt. You know what, Ida Bolt? Just uh. Just toss that in there. I, I don't believe that we'll have too much of an issue by walking into the fire once. <laughs> Says Falcon, you know, I used to do that all the time growing up. I used to see like just a, a big mosh of like bodies on fire and be like, yeah, you know what, fuck it. Let's just walk in there, see what happens. And you know, that was my life in a nutshell. Or my childhood in a nutshell. No, this is me in a nutshell. How did I get into a nutshell this big? Alrighty, and Idle Bolt, thanks a lot for your work. I think that should pretty much do it, right? There you go, excellent. So let me, uh... I'll militarize you really quickly and have you hook yourself back up with that. Uh, well, it was... Nathan, can you not... Can you leave this fucking weapon alone? Please? <laughs> don't burn that one. That one's actually... Uh, or don't blow that one out. That one's out of bolts. So out of bolt, if you can now, come and equip this. And Nathan, you could run off and do whatever you have to do now. Are we done with this uh, boom rat over here? How are we not done with this boom rat? Why are you just shooting... Just, just punch it, funky! Just punch it, funky boy! You're, you're, why are you losing to the boom rat in reality? Okay, here, just melee attack the fucking thing. It's almost dead. There you go. Now you're gonna run off on fu- oh, you know what, by the way, a funky's got like 26 health. Apparently that boom rat just jacked the funky. I need you to stop catching on fire there for a second because, uh, you could probably have the chance of dying there. Alright, you're not on fire anymore? Good. Run off now. Alrighty, see if we can get rid of this fire here too, by the way, guys. Guys? Can you clear this fire as well? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Is that part of our home zone? Probably isn't. Uh, home zone region. Nope. So let's just do that really quickly there. Alright, and these bodies are over here burning. Hopefully the rest of them do catch on fire as well. Alright. Good. So now, here- Funky, why are you on fire? Now, fun you know, Funky, now you're zooming it for attention. You're kind of like just hurting yourself for attention. Uh, somebody put that man off on fire, by the way. Okay, well, apparently Funky just wanted so much attention he decided to, you know, just... Funky, this is probably just a way for you to get out of, uh, working, if anything. It's kind of like when you fake an illness when you want to go to school or something. It's kind of like... <coughs> uh, Mom, I, I can't go to school today. I'm, you know, I'm just my, my throat hurts. And, you know, it's kind of like, no, your throat doesn't hurt enough not to go to school, mister. Believe me, I know. I used to do it all the time. Alrighty, so now we could actually... Let me just put this in real time. And let's set off these, uh, blast charges over here. Now... No, I set the blast charges. The blast charges, man! Alright, you fuck. Now here's the problem. I, now I hope that none of my genius uh, colonists decide to walk through this little minefield over here. And then be like, oh hey fucking what's going on? Oh, I blew up! It's your fault somehow that we blew up. Alright, Lucky. Alright, so we blew up quite a few of them there, which is good. Lucky, where are you taking that food to? Are you gonna take the food to Barkeep? He's dead, Lucky. FYI. Lucky, why are you- <laughs> Why is he just carrying that food around? <laughs> this isn't a fucking field trip. You go back and eat that food in the base, not outside. What's wrong with you? Alrighty, so it seems that we have cleared up the rest of those, which is good. Now, I still have to blow up quite a few more. The other thing I have to do, as a matter of fact, is going to be deconstruct this and this. Or actually, not deconstruct them. I don't have to do that, right? No, I don't have to do that, Falcon. You could, all you have to really do is just make it that I don't carry weapons here. Simple as that. So how about uh, this launch pad? Or how about we just make... Yeah. Whatever. Uh, no weapons. And... No weapons. And... Uh, ba -ba -ba. No weapons. Now they're going to be forced to drag them into the little uh, area that I'm using to kind of 
breaking that stuff apart there. So again, I'm going to do this, and then once we do this, we're going to set up the uh, situation. Well, not a situation, but we're going to set up the target practicing that I do actually need to do. And I guess the other thing that we could do meanwhile they're hauling is actually move this a bit back because I feel that this is kind of like a really trouble spot at this point because we get a lot of knockouts from that area. So we definitely want to avoid that from happening. Um, I guess one of the things we could do, as a matter of fact, is move this guy forward. The turret, I should say. And then uh, just leave my guys back here. They feel that it's safer that way, I'd imagine. Um, but then I do like the shooting from the sides and the angles and everything like that. So yeah, I'm just going to move this back and hope that's enough. Maybe even put it like in an... Oh, that's not the wrong... That's not the, that's the wrong button at all. Um, maybe put it even at an angle, perhaps? Would that work? No, because then they're going to be like, yeah. I'd have to put them like over here, which is not the case. Because this area over here, too, also troubles me at times. So what I will do instead is just move this back a bit. I'd say like... Make sure that turret doesn't hit my guys. So let's just do that. And then we'll put a stone wall. Oh, we don't have enough for stone walls anymore. Well, I, we might after I deconstruct this, actually. So let's deconstruct this. Yeah, we, that's the other thing we have to do. We have absolutely no sto uh, stone stockpile, as you could imagine. Um, which is going to make this a little bit more difficult, quite honestly. Will we have enough is the real question. I don't think we will. Uh, that's going to be a stone wall, assuming I have enough uh, material for it. No, I definitely do not. Okay. So I don't have enough uh, material for that. So how about we uh, move this back to how it used to be back in the old days, which is, if you remember, let's cancel this out. And we'll put a sandbag here. We'll just deconstruct this and put a stone wall in its place. And then we'll put two sandbags next to it. And then, um... Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about deconstruct this, as a matter of fact? We'll do stone. Uh, we'll do sandbag, sandbag, stone wall, and then sandbag. How about that? Okay. So this is taking it old school. This is how we used to ro rock it back in the day. It used to be like sandbag, sandbag, wall, sandbag, sandbag, wall, and then sandbag, sandbag. That's how we're gonna work it this way. Just because I'm low on stone, so I do have to, in a sense. Uh, let's see, take that down. Take that down. God damn it. Alrighty. And then we'll put a stone wall right about here. And then we'll put a sandbag here. And then if we have enough stone wall, which we should, we'll be right there. And then we'll do like a sandbag on each side, perhaps. Okay, and quite honest, I don't think we even need this extra one over here. So I'll just turn that one off as well. Okay. And that should get built, I'd imagine. Now, we do have a lot of metal bars that we also have to process. That's another thing that we should be working on soon enough. After the weapon ordeal gets taken care of, which is almost just about taken care of here. So let me do a blast charge. Uh, right there should take care of all, most of these. And same right there. Same right there. And same right there, I'd say. Okay, and the stone wall, hopefully, we have enough for that to be built. I think we should, definitely, but... You know, just to be on the safe side here. And I guess just for the sake of it, I could run a power conduit over here, but... You know, if we're going to probably start experimenting with blast charges a bit, I might just want to leave that off, uh, that power conduit not there, just to avoid any sort of situation here. So how about we do uh, one right there and then another one right here. Basically, we want them to go off at, uh, together so that it gives us the actual biggest uh, bang for our buck, essentially. So at least, luckily, Moldad is able to build those soon enough for us. And the ones up here are actually built, so let me put this in real time just so we can manage the people here. And, uh, set this off. Set this off. This one off. And this one off. Alrighty. And hopefully that blows up without, you know, hurting other people. Alright, good, good. It's actually a pretty good haul right there. Uh, so there's a few more to be removed. And then, oh, oh shit, we have so many <laughs> stockpiles. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I think that we should also take care of these guys as well. And we'll just probably leave, leave this stockpile. I could even remove another one, to be quite honest with you. But I'll just leave it alone for now. Alrighty, so remove those. Uh, somebody finished building a stone wall right there. FYI. Do we have enough stone for it? Uh, Conta's one stone box is building. Doesn't seem like it's being built, though. Not anymore. Yeah, I think we might not have enough stone for it. That's going to be the case, then. We're going to definitely have to send some people to haul a few stones again. 
The thing is that we've cleared out the easier one, so now we have to do a little bit of traveling. There's a lot of stone over here, but again, most of the raider assaults do land over there, so that's what I'm a little bit worried of. My guys over here hauling stone and sunning them like, oh hey, raider assault. Oh hey guys. So I guess we'll make it uh we'll make this hollowable right here. And let's just start with that for now. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy just yet with what we're gonna be doing here. And it is the stump the dump stump pile for rock debris. Yep. So rock debris is gonna be here, and then we could probably have our stone cutters start doing our thing. But let's haul off the rocks before we uh, you know, start actually moving the stuff there in reality. Alrighty. Now, you know what? We're still smelting weapons, which would be fine, but in reality, let's actually take care of the the metal bars. So process metal bars, configure this to do that forever, and, you know, give them a bigger radius and whatnot. I don't think we actually need the bigger radius, but just in case, to be on the safe side here. Alright. Overall, how else are we doing here? Uh, moving those weapons over. There's a lot of debris now in the base from these blasts and everything like that, which really kind of ticks me the wrong way because I'm a little bit OCD about that. So how about... Uh, ba 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 Dumping stockpile, which is this guy, right? Or is that just a regular stockpile? I'm not sure. Alright, let's do that. Let's move that over and then we'll set, uh... This thing over here to haul. Along with this debris over here. Clean my base! I don't really like it. What the... F what the what is this over here, by the way? That's where the stone walls were, right? Is that ever gonna come back to normal? That's a really <laughs> annoying thing just hanging out there. Get out of there! I don't like you there. You're ruining the setup of my thing over here, by the way. Of my amazing stone tile area. The base is coming along really nicely, though. I, I really can't complain about that, though. That's one thing I really can't complain about. I do like how our base is starting to look, overall, quite honestly. There's a few more expansions we can make, but, you know, whatever. Alright, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and pick up all the stone, which is good. Yeah, do it all in one unison strike so that, you know, if the raiders do come, we're not, like, you know, left over here with our dick in our hands, uh... Part of my French, but that's essentially the uh, saying. Can't really change how that goes. Alrighty, so they picked up what they could there. Uh, okay. How about, just because we have this empty space here, we also make this a dumping stockpile for uh, ba -ba, debris. Good. And we'll make that another rock one as well. We'll make this uh, preferred, I guess. No big deal. Alright, so let's just roll with that for now. And how about we call it an episode here today, guys? I feel like this has gone long enough. Um, we did get a not we did get a swag knocked out, but uh, you know, he didn't die, which is a good thing. We are setting up a few blast charges now in the interest of uh safetyness, so uh, or safety, I should say, not safety, that's not even a fucking word to my knowledge. So we're gonna do it this way for now, and hopefully, um, we'll get the stone that we need in order to fill the wall over here. And hopefully moving those bags and uh, avoid us not getting knocked out so often and even deaths. And you know, we do have a lot of turrets now. I do need to move this guy forward though, that's one of the things I kinda slacked off. But it's uh, you know, it's a small little slow process, but we'll get there to that safety point where everybody's going to be happy, nobody's going to be dying, etc, etc. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and um, I'll catch you guys next time.